I'll try to go a little faster in this video. My goal is to go from this system of 544 equations to the closest we can come to a solution to that system by using linear regression in Python. And so this system, it comes from this data frame here, df sub. And let's get the coefficients that correspond to the system. So for example, a one Tampa offense, a negative one Dallas defense, and a one half for 0 0.5 home field advantage. Okay, and then the target will be this side on the right. So how can I do that? And there's a little asymmetry between what happens for the home teams and what happens for the away teams. So we're gonna do this in two different steps. So let's call this, how about, uh, list home, and let's start with it just being an empty list. And a lot of times in Python, you should try to avoid using for loops, but I couldn't come up with a much nicer way to do this than using a for loop. So I'm going to use a for loop to go through all 272 rows of df sub. So for i in range length df sub, then what I'm going to do is make a dictionary that corresponds to the coefficients here. And this is going to be for home. So let me call this temp, this dictionary I'm going to make. And then we'll say that whatever is in the df sub dot loc. So row i and then team home. And then So let me show you what happens if I just put this onto list home. So list home dot append temp. And then let's look at list home. So that puts Tampa Bay, Atlanta, Buffalo, puts all of these home teams on there. And so instead, let's turn it into a dictionary, temp into a dictionary. And all of these are gonna show up with a one coefficient. Okay, so like Tampa shows up with a one coefficient. Okay, we're skipping that because that's an away team. We'll do that in a minute. Then Atlanta shows up with a one coefficient. Okay, one, one. And so in this dictionary, we're gonna record what are the coefficients. So here I say colon one. Okay, so now we have this list of dictionaries. Okay, Tampa Bay shows up with a one, Atlanta shows up with a one. Okay, and now uh, let's do the same thing for team away. And these are all gonna show up with a negative one. Okay, and so right now we're doing one thing for each row here, or if you go back up to this one, we're doing these even numbered columns in the Python numbering. So Tampa offense, Atlanta offense, Buffalo offense. So uh, let's check this one. Oh, and I put um, team home, but I was supposed to put team away. Okay, Tampa one, Dallas negative one. That's pretty good. But remember that this isn't like the overall Tampa power rating. This is their offense power rating. So I should really include that here. So let me say append onto that string offense. And let me say append onto this string defense. Okay, and let's look at it. So Tampa offense shows up with a one coefficient. Dallas defense shows up with a negative one coefficient. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's make this dictionary a little longer. And I'll go to a new, new row, but because it's inside these braces, that won't confuse Python. And so now let's say home field advantage. And I'm supposed to say, what is the coefficient for home field advantage? And remember, I'm just at the zeroth, second, fourth, et cetera, of these equations. So the coefficient should always be positive 0 0.5, okay, for these home teams. Okay, that looks good. And let's also say what the target should be. So target should be whatever this scaled home is. 
So this is going to be df sub dot loc. So we go to the ith row again, and then we do scaled home. Okay, and so I'm hoping that the target shows up as 5.43, 1.93, 4.68. Let's check it and see. 5.43, 1.93, 4.68. Okay, good. And yeah, I think that that's already exactly the list home that I wanted. Now let's do the same thing for list away. And let's see, I'll be impressed if I can do this without making a mistake, because I have to decide like what things to cho change and what things not to change. So now it's the away team offense minus the home team defense. And the, now because it's from the perspective of the away team, now the home field advantage is hurting them. So this should have a negative 0 0.5 for the home field advantage. Okay, and then the target should be scaled away. Oh, and I almost made it without making a mistake. I didn't change this list home to list away. So that probably also broke what was up here. So let me run this again. Okay, and I'll run this again. And now let's look at list away. And I'm hoping what I see looks like Dallas offense minus Tampa defense minus home field advantage over two equals negative 1.07 as the first dictionary in the list. So let's look at it. Dallas offense minus Tampa defense minus half home field advantage equals negative 1.07. Okay, perfect. And now let's join those dictionaries together. So I'm gonna make a data frame and the index, okay, I don't think I even have to say what the index is. I think we'll do it automatically. And then it's gonna come from the like joining together of list home and list away. So I'm hoping that what shows up here is a 544 by 66 data frame. So why 66? I mean, I kept saying 65 before. Well, I have the 65 variables, but then I also have the target. So uh, let's check this. Let's call it, how about um, DF new? And let's look at it. And 544 rows by 66 columns. Okay, yes, that looks pretty good. And I have all these not in numbers in here. Let's get rid of those. So let's say fill n a, replace those with zero, in place equals true. So the in place is saying change it in this actual data frame, as opposed to like displaying a new data frame. Okay, and let's look at it again. So I'm hoping that all of these n a n's get replaced by zeros. Okay, yes, that looks good. And so, yeah, I'm trying to think if I need to reorder this. I think I would like to reorder it. So uh, let me get a list of the teams. So let me go back to DF sub and let me look at team home. Okay, and just like how up here, I used data frame and then parentheses to turn this list of dictionaries into a data frame. Here, I'm gonna use set and then parentheses to turn this pandas series into a set. And the big advantage of this is that's gonna remove duplicates. And it looks like it's ordered, but secretly it's not. Sets don't have a notion of order. So I'm going to turn it back into a list or turn it into a list. And then I'm going to sort it by using the sorted command. OK, and let's look at it. So it looks exactly the same, but now there's a square bracket instead of a curly brace on the outside. And let me call this teams. And I just want to write the, the columns up here in a little nicer of an order. 
So um, let me say columns is going to be append underscore OFF to T for every T in Teams. So let's just start like that and see if I did it right. Okay, so we used to have Arizona, Atlanta, Baltimore. Now we have Arizona offense, Atlanta offense, Baltimore offense. Then let's do the same thing for defense. So I just have to change this to defense. And looks very similar, but now I have these defenses at the end. And then let's, so total that's length 64. Now let's also add a home field advantage and a target. And I think it was lowercase target that I used. And yeah, I don't think I need to print this anymore. And so I had this DF new before, and let me replace it. So uh, let's first see if I did anything wrong. So do you see how the columns are now in a nicer order? And should still be 544 by 66 if I didn't make any mistakes. Yeah, still 544 by 66. Good. And so let me make this the new DF new. And I don't really think this is necessary, but let me just protect myself by putting this copy afterwards. Okay, good. And now we're ready to do linear regression. So let me again say REG. Okay, this is similar to in the previous video. And it was a little harder for me to say why we need the fit intercept to be false in the previous video. But here, I think it's very easy. This is like saying, if you have no teams playing and no home field advantage, then the expected score should be zero. Okay, and that makes sense. So, so we make this linear regression object. And now we're gonna fit it. We're gonna fit it on DF new. Okay, and then we're gonna drop the target from the columns axis. So from axis equals one. So that's all of the coefficients. That's all of like the variables we want scikit-learn to try to solve for. And then the desired outputs are the target. And let's run this and hope I don't get an error. Okay, good. And so let's look at it. Okay, great. Sometimes it's possible to get like huge numbers showing up here, but recently I haven't had that problem. And I think in the fourth video, I'll show what to do if you have huge numbers getting here. And that the, the basic idea behind that is imagine you like added a billion to every offensive power rating and also added a billion to every defensive power rating, then that's going to have the exact same outputs because you're always subtracting one from the other. So scikit-learn could sometimes produce that kind of answer. Uh, but here it worked fine. And so notice like home field advantage is 2.11. Okay, that's what I promised you at the beginning. And so it, it's a little annoying that I can't tell what the, like, what does this correspond to, for example? But here is one way to get that. I can say zip together the columns, but forget the last one where it's the target. That's like we drop the last one. Zip together that with this coefficient. Okay, well, that, that doesn't look very interesting, but I can turn that into a list by wrapping it inside of list. Okay, and now we get like this Arizona offense, Atlanta offense, and so on. Or I can turn it into a dictionary. Okay, it looks very similar, but now the nice thing about this, like let's name it um, power rating dictionary. And now I can say something like power rating dictionary and then I can say, for example, what is the New Orleans defense power rating according to this method we just did? 
okay, 0 0.25. And let's see, does that match what we had at the top? So New Orleans 0 0.25 for the defensive power rating. Yeah, so I, I think that, I hope that shows you how relatively easy it is to compute these power ratings using uh, these free tools here in DeepNote. And you can also do it in Google Colab if you prefer that, or if you want to do it locally on your own computer, you can install Jupyter Notebook and do it there. Uh, and yeah, I'll just say again that maybe the hardest part of this was getting the original uh, spreads, spreads and totals. But if you're happy using, uh, using my data, you can just follow the link that'll be under the video. And you can go over here to the files section, and then you can download this July 16th spreads.csv. And that, that should be fairly accurate as of July 16th, 2021. Yeah, that's all I'll say in this video, and I'll wrap up some loose ends in the last video in part four. Thanks for watching.